Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's March 15th, uh, 2024. I'm out in the greenhouse area right now. And uh, so I've got some work to get things organized and cleaned up a bit out here. Uh, getting the insulation that protects the pots, uh, the more hardy uh, berry producing pots and trees here. And same thing over there. So I need to clean this area up and then I've got all the debris from the winter, the fall and the winter in here as well it is one cold it's about 43 degrees fahrenheit and uh it's been pretty darn windy the wind just broke up here a minute ago and uh it is damp so not the best environment to be out here working i'd have the other coat on if I didn't anticipate working a little bit. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the uh, weight bags up, get the uh, insulation up and over to another spot over here between the coop and the greenhouse. So we could store that over the summertime for next year. And uh, then try and clean up some around here. We may be getting some rain in the next half an hour or so, so I'll get as much done as I can. So here I go.
Well, I just got done finishing up doing a lot of the picking up. So got the insulation boards out from around these plants and the ones from over here, around over here. So a lot of the winter insulation is up and out of the area, so that's good. I did use the Ego Power Brush or Power Broom to help me get consolidate a lot of the material up out of here. There's a lot more that needs to be done to clean things up before uh, before we start moving the all of the plants around. You can see some of the hosta berries are getting ready to erupt their uh, uh, leaf nodes are getting ready to emerge and the gooseberries depending on which variety they're already starting to uh, leaf out pretty good so a lot more work's got to be done over here got the insulation stacked up over here in our little summer storage unit <laughs> in between the coop and the uh, greenhouse here and then uh, Thea came out and started adding so the other day we showed how we had filled our 4x4x14 four by four by inch tree pots and that's all leaf mold or compost in there and then Thea came out and used some of our soilless mixture it's peat moss and perlite put that in the tops of them so that the seeds when they do germinate if they do germinate they'll be able to send their root down and then eventually start sending a, their uh, leaf stem up and all so i think we got about a 185 i guess in here all but these four pots here so we just got those done just a couple of minutes ago so that's real good so what do you think hon boy that was fun Oh yeah, it was a real real fun time. So we planted 185 pawpaws. Hopefully they'll all come up and we'll have trees everywhere. That's right. So the uh, the one thing I would say is, as I mentioned before, we froze them. I don't recommend freezing them. Uh, hopefully they'll be okay. Uh, I think they can handle down to minus 5 or minus 6 degrees, somewhere around there. I, I don't remember. But uh, it'd be safer just for when you're uh, stratifying the seeds, uh, just putting them in the refrigeration for, I think it's a good 90 days. Is it says a, 90 to 100 days, and it says ideally 31 to 42 degrees is ideal yeah. for them. Yeah, so, and our freezers are set to zero, so we'll see. And then we've got, we're waiting for some more tree pots to come in uh, because we have shag bark hickory to get uh, planted, some hazelnuts, and what else is it that we have? You remember? Pig nuts, did you say that? Yeah, pig nuts, I said that. Pig nuts, hazelnuts, um, shag bark hickory, pawpaws, and well, we have blueberry seeds. Right, no, I've talked about tree seeds. Yeah. Okay. I think that was it. Okay. Well, that's it for today's video, folks. Uh, Thea and I enjoyed working together once as again. As usual. Yes, sir. Yes, yes it's just wonderful. <laughs> Is it time to go have some lunch now? Yes, let's eat. All right, folks. Stay safe and take good care of yourselves. Okay, take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.